हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑफ रवि सर द इजियर एंड बेटर वे टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ इंक्लूडिंग जेई मेन्स एंड एडवांस मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रूव द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स आर ऑलवेज ई रेशनल स्टूडेंट्स इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न टू फाइंड आउट एच सी एफ we have learned how to do the tree factorizations students in standard 9th you have also studied the square root of all the prime numbers are always irrational students same things we are going to do over here but with the proof right first of all in very first question you can see that if p is a prime number right if p is a prime number then square root of p is irrational we have to prove that students certain things are proved right so those things can be proved by using the contrary statements suppose you have a glass of water right there is a water in the glass so how can you prove that water in the glass right so other method you can see that suppose there is something other thing in the glass so first of all you will check the property of other things then finally you will come on to the rise that no we don't having other things in the glass just water in the glass same things we are going to do in the mathematics over here that square root of all the prime numbers are always irrational right so students in very first question you can see that p is a prime numbers then the then we have to prove that root p is irrational right our target is to what students to prove that p is irrational right we know that all the square root of prime numbers always irrational so we will take the contrary of it it means we will try to prove that root p is rational right so we will check the properties of rational if it is true on the fact of rational rationality then we can say that root p is rational otherwise it will be irrational right students let us see with uh, practice over here first of all what you have to do consider right root p is equal to a by b is rational so what is the condition of rational so hcf of ab should be 1 if these things are verified then you can see say that root p is rational otherwise it will be irrational right students so here you can see that root p is equal to a by b now squaring over here what we are getting root p whole square is equal to a square by b square it means p is equal to a square by b square right students so you can uh, cross over here a square will be p b square right students now here you can see that a square is equal to p b square it means what is students a square is to be divided by p and you are getting what b square so in number system generally divides can be represented as p a vertical line is equal is a square it can be stated that p divides a square right and here you can read what a square divided by p understand same things both are the same things but in the number system we read these things p divides a square if p divides a square it means student p divide a also right so this is result number 1 similarly if p divides a p divides a it means students p divides a it means a is divisible by p if a is divisible by p it means you are getting another number suppose c right so cross over here so what you are getting a is equal to pc 
now squaring again a square is equal to p square c square now students you can get the value of a square from here a square is equal to p b square right a square is equal to p b square so you can substitute p b square so it can be written as p into p c square p and p will be cancelled out b square is equal to p c square right students it means what b square can be divided by p it means you are getting c square so students p divides b square then you can write what p divide b also right here students you can see that in both the result p is a common factor right p is a common factor but as per the condition if root p a is upon b is a rational the condition is what the hcf a comma b is 1 but here we are getting what hcf is p it means students our supposition is wrong it means root p is rational can't be proved as a rational it means a thing which is not rational it means what it is irrational right students so you can write over here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 it is clear that hcf of a comma b is equal to p which does not is equal to 1 which is which have to satisfied if p is a rational the satisfaction should be what hcf a comma b is equal to p it is not 1 so our supposition is wrong our supposition is wrong right students so root p cannot be rational it means root p is rational understood okay moving to the next question same things we will have to put over here just in place of p write down root 2 okay let's start consider right i'm writing all these things i'm writing from over here you can just practice all these things by repeating uh, repetition of same numbers and same prime square root of same prime numbers right consider right consider root 2 is equal to a by b is rational right rational it means hcf of a comma b should be 1 right okay now consider root 2 is equal to a by b now squaring over here what you are getting student root 2 like that way here is root p whole square means root 2 whole square a square by b square means 2 is equal to a square by b square it means a square is equal to 2b square okay you can compare all these things from here now you can write these things a square divide by 2 is equal to b square it means a square is divided by 2 it means you can write all these things 2 divides a square right so 2 divide a also this is result number 1 like that way okay now consider wait okay this is result number 1 okay students now 2 divides a can be written as a is divided by 2 consider another integer c okay so you can write what a is equal to 2c in place of p we have to write 2 now again squaring student what we are getting a square is equal to 2 square into c square now you can substitute the value of a square from here what is the value of a square student 2b square right 
so 2b square this can be written as 2 into 2 into c square 2 2 cancelled out so b square is equal to 2c square okay b square is equal to pc square it means b square is equal to 2c square okay so b square divides divided by 2 you are getting c square it means 2 divides b square it means 2 divide b so this is result number 2 right from 1 and 2 it is clear that sc of a and b is not is 2 but not 1 but as per the condition the sc of should be 1 but here you can see that from 1 and 2 what is the sc of a and b 2 right students so again our supposition is wrong so here you can write what from 1 and 2 it is clear that hcf of a comma b is what 2 which is not is equal to 1 it should be as per the condition if root 2 is rational so hcf should be 1 but what we are getting hcf is 2 so our supposition is wrong our supposition is wrong right it means root p can't be rational so root 2 cannot be rational right students so if a number is not rational it means students irrational right so root 2 is irrational okay moving to the next question so in place of p what do you have to write over here 7 otherwise in place of root 2 what you can write what root 7 okay so consider root 2 root 2 means root 7 right root 7 is equal to a by b is rational right it means xcf a comma b is equal to 1 right it means root 7 is equal to a by b now squaring over here if squaring what we are getting root 7 whole square a square b square so 7 is equal to a square by b square so what will be the value of a square 7 b square right okay it means what is student a square is divisible by 7 we are getting b square in number system you can read all these things 7 divides a square if 7 divides a square obviously 7 divides a also this is result number 1 so you can write these things what a 7 divides a it means a is divisible by 7 you are getting another integer c right a is equal to 7 c so squaring after squaring what you are getting a square is equal to 7 square 7 b square. b square so you can write 7 into 7 c square so 7 and 7 cancelled out so b square is equal to 7 into c square it means student b square is divisible by 7 you are getting c square it means 7 divides b square means 7 is 7 divide b also right this is result number 2 ok students from 1 and 2 you can see that the common factor is 7 but as per the condition if a number is rational right so xcf should be 1 but from result 1 and 2 you can see that xcf is 7 so from 1 and, 1 and 2 you can write what from 1 and 2 right it is clear that 
इट इज क्लियर दैट एक्स सी एफ ऑफ ए कोमा बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन बट इट शुड बी वन राइट सो आवर सपोजिशन इज रॉन्ग दे आर फॉर आवर सपोजिशन इज रॉन्ग राइट स्टूडेंट्स सो रूट सेवन कांट बी रेशनल रूट सेवन कांट बी रेशनल इट मीन्स रूट सेवन इज रेशनल ओके मूविंग टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दिस इज द फाइनल टच ऑफ दिस टॉपिक नथिंग यू विल हैव टू डू अवर इयर इन वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट इन प्लेस ऑफ पी जस्ट राइट डाउन इलेवन ओके कंसीडर कंसीडर रूट इलेवन इज इक्वल टू ए बाई बी इज रैशनल राइट सो वॉट शुड बी द कंडीशन ऑफ रैशनैलिटी ए कोमा बी इज इक्वल टू वन ओके इफ इट इज सैटिस्फाइड देन यू कैन सी इट से दैट रूट इलेवन इज रैशनल ओके इफ इट इज नॉट सैटिस्फाइंग सो रूट रूट इलेवन कांट बी रैशनल इट विल बी ई रैशनल ओके Moving to the same process over here. So root eleven is equal to a by b. Now squaring. After squaring, root eleven whole square is equal to a square b square. So eleven is equal to a square b square. So the value of a square is equal to eleven b square. Right, students? It means what? A square is divisible by 11. You are getting B square. So in another word, another way you can write 11 divides A square, right? If 11 divide A square means 11 divide A also. If 11 divides A, so you can write A is divisible by 11. You are getting another integer like a C. Okay? Now squaring. After squaring, you are uh, okay. So here you can write what a is equal to eleven c. Now squaring a square is equal to eleven square into c square. Now you can substitute the value of a square. What is the value of a square? Eleven b square eleven into eleven into c square. So eleven eleven cancelled out. B square is equal to 11 C square. It means students, B square is divisible by 11. You are getting C square. It means 11 divides B square. Means 11 also divide B. This is result number two. So from result one and result two, you can see that the common factor is 11. But as per the condition, you want to find out. You want to prove that root eleven is irrational. Uh, It should be the common factor should be one, but you are not getting common factor one. You are getting common factor eleven. Okay, from one and two, from one and two, it is clear that H C F of A comma B is equal to eleven. It is not is equal to one. Therefore, our supposition is wrong. Our supposition is wrong. It means root eleven cannot be rational. It will be irrational. Okay, students. Here we are completing these topics. I hope you have understood this video lessons for more video lesson of this chapter keep watching Ravi Sarji maths thank you thank you so much